Hi guys, welcome to a squad builder showdown today with a little bit of a twist. This, my friends, in front of you guys, one of the most mental cards on the game. It is the 96 rated Furlan Mendy, which only a handful of people have. And Andy, have you seen any people with this card? Hi guys! Only you and Danny Aarons, but Danny Aarons discards it. Exactly. And now we, with the bit of a twist, guys, that's the bit of a twist. Andy, unfortunately, can't get this card, but I don't condone anyone getting this card, guys. I've said it numerous amount of times. This is a really overpriced player for this stage of the game. Mate, this overpriced and then there's that. Yeah. Like, it's a good place to put your fodder, but it's going to take you till bloody September, October to do it anyway. So, we've let Andy, and, and Andy suggested it as well, go with a similar type of player and go head to head. Against Furlan Mendy. And who is the player that you have chosen? Andy? Team of the year in Golo Kante. Not bad, is it? Not bad. Kante versus Furlan Mendy. And you squad builder showdown fans do get the Furlan Mendy done. So that's one positive at least, isn't it, Andy? For their high cause. Exactly. They get to see him at least on one person's account. And usually, when me and Andy do a squad builder showdown, you guys usually see another one. It's not on FIFA 22, guys. Andy's doing a very different type of series, which you can see. It's still the same, but it's different. And you can see that on Andy's channel. So make sure you click the link down below. Go and subscribe to his channel. Keep an eye out for it. And you guys will see a very, very nostalgic Squad Builder showdown done with Andy, which will be amazing. What do you want to talk about, Andy, today? We like I'm, keeping him uh, sticking around, don't we? I'm trying to find a stat that somebody tweeted out. And I think it was FIFA analyst. I'm just scrolling back through his Twitter now to find it. Here's a stat for you. If you complete the Mendy SBC, he'll cost you 45,000 coins per day until FIFA 23 comes out. That seems all right. 45k a day? Yeah, I've got like 10 million. Well, yeah, but this is what you have Mendy as well. You're made of coins. Yeah, but you got to remember, Andy, with FIFA at the moment, everybody is a pack addict. Like, everyone's doing the 85 times 10. Everyone's is it doing repeatable? This. Have they brought it out? It's not repeatable oh, yet. Come I do on, think yeah. it's going to come. I don't know when it's going to come. but you, Like, I know, because I've got a road to glory as well. You need to put the players somewhere. Now, thankfully, EA are dropping some other footy cards, which are pretty good. Um, and for pretty cheap, the think there's Kevin Prince Botting came out yesterday. There's a Tony Cruz out at the moment as well. And some other bad boys. So, it's not bad. But this, this would be one where... You know, team of the year, we had Varane, and maybe you open loads of packs, you're in team of the year, and then by the end of it, all your surplus untradeable fodder, you got a team of the year flashback Varane, you know? Yeah. That's pretty cool, but I do, I do understand why people were angry, but it's me. I like cards. I like this card specifically. A lot of people were complaining it wasn't a left back. I would have preferred the left back. Would but you? I don't know if you've looked. I would have, yeah, because... There's so many players out there which are like this. There's a Barella card. You even picked up Team the Acante, but this card has one... How many stats under it? 90. One, uh, two, yeah. three. Bellingham's Team of the Seasons oh. another one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this card has four stats under 90. Bloody hell. So that's how disgusting the card is, and traits are pretty tidy as well. Barella's got... Are you talking in-games? One. Yeah, I'm looking at in-games. Two. Three, four. I wonder if yeah. it's the same ones. Strength, uh, head and accuracy, penalties, and free kicks. A Barella's. So mine are 60 free kicks, okay. 88 curve, 81 penalties, and 87 volleys. Like, they're not even that bad, Ooh, okay. <laughs> realistically. So two out like of 90. four are the same. Yeah, like, I don't even know where to play him. Is he is he a box-to-box? -box? Is he a defensive mid? Is he an, a striker? Like, you could play him at striker. He's got 99 attacking position, 90 finishing. It's an interesting card, but it's one which a lot of people have not got their hands on. And and speaking of this, right, there's, uh, you know I'm into my cards, Andy, don't you? So, mm -hmm. I collect cards. You yeah, guys like can see. Yeah, so, so cards are limited. So, you can see if you've got an out-of-10 card, what number you've got. What I would love on FIFA, maybe even EA Sports FC, if it comes out in the future... Furlan Mendy's come out. We're all guessing who's got the card. How many Ooh, people have done this card? That would be cool. You click on this, go to player details, and in there it says, like, this is card number one of, like, you were the first person to complete it, one of, like, a thousand or something like that, you know? Like, I just think that would be somewhat pointless, but it'd but also cool. be pretty nice to yeah. know how many people have, have done this card. 
but... I like that, you know. I think that'd be quite good. I'm not sure whether they do a number where it tells yeah, you... Yeah, even, even if it was a population, I would love to see a population. Yeah, just population, I think it'd be cool. Numbers, I think yeah. everyone would be rushing at 6 o'clock to complete it the fastest and the servers would break and maybe not the best, the healthiest thing to add into the game, shall I say? Yeah. But I feel like, yeah, if it just said underneath the cards how many times it's been completed, that'd be really cool. Yeah, that'd be nice to see it. And then if, it'll say Danny Aarons came along, discarded it. Yeah. Like it, that it goes down one. Go down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or someone comes and does a squad builder showdown yeah. and, and loses like 4 0. Boom, there's four players losing populations on them. Yeah. Very in- in- d- interesting. One. I'd be interested in that for everything, but then there's also my conspiracy theory is that EA populate the market and artificially influence it. Will you be able to see that? Well, this, this is why I'm thinking maybe they won't put it into the game. Because if somebody looks at Team of the Year Kante's, he should never go up until Footies comes out between January and June. Yeah. But if people are buying them and then stopping playing FIFA and they're just sat stagnant in clubs and people... I think EA put more of them onto the market all the time. Maybe it's a way to test that theory, mm. though, to see if people do. Well, that's, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if they do yeah. that, they're not going to make that a feature, are they? Because then people will be able to tell. I, I, I don't think EA do that. Do you not reckon? I th- no, I don't think do that's Do you remember Pele? Do you remember the Pele saga back in the day? The, uh, the Pele one was ridiculous, and I can't remember who it was. But he like he's like, oh, I'm going to list one up. Yeah, so he said he was going to list his up off his personal account, didn't he? But the four of them or something like that went onto the market at the yeah. same time. They were like, that's definitely not happened. He's been in packs this whole time. And then all of a sudden, it was four of them on the market. And but I don't know if the, like, the coin sellers were like, oh, damn, maybe it's time to get rid of it. So like, other people hold on to him. Like, right, right. So you know when like your player's extinct for the weekend? Nah, was this like, was oh, like, I remember it. making a yeah. video on this. It was, they all had the same, because you used to be able to see when a card was packed. On oh, issue date, yeah. They, they had the exact same issue date and they all went into the market at the same time, the same minute. They, they were all counting down at like 59.51, 59.52, 59.53 and they were all like, at the, like 100% EA added them onto the market because they had, they'd accidentally not put Pele in packs. Yeah. It's an interesting one, guys. Let us know what you think of that and if you lot were around during that saga, these were legends as well, right? That was it. But then I guess also, to go super, super off topic, if I go on... Give me one sec. If I go on all Team of the Weeks and I scroll all the way down to, I don't know, like Team of the Week 3 or something like that. It's a lot of scrolling. I can't be bothered to scroll anymore. I'm going to go Team of the Week <laughs> 7. So if I look and I say Team of the Week Carrasco or Team Buffon, let's go Buffon because he's a goalie. No one actually puts them into their actual squads because they've been relegated. If I go Special Buffons, there's one of them on the whole market. So then maybe that's not true because if, that, if what I'm saying was true, EA would just have a bot setup that just populates the game with Buffons, wouldn't it? Because they don't want it to go. If I bought that one, Buffon wouldn't be on the game. Yeah. And they're not going to then just list 10 and up. So I guess, because I've experienced that with trying to buy informs for Squabbler Show and stuff. Some of them just don't exist anymore because they are so old and everyone's discarded them and put them into SBCs or they're stuck on people's accounts that don't play the game anymore. So I guess... Yeah, that's what I'm looking at now. Like yeah. one of my trading tech... Like, <clears throat> feels weird, guys, getting a trading technique off me, but... I'm a hoarder. I love being a hoarder because you never know. Like, players, when you sell them, like a lot of, like Andy is saying, Team of the Week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5s, they discard at the start of the game because mm-hmm. there's so many packs being opened. No one uses them. They just keep them or, or sell them or discard them, you know, to get the 10k coins or whatnot. But if you hold on to them, it comes to a stage where people do actually want them for SBC solutions. Like, I'll just use an example there, guys. Um, this, I don't know who will be, this account got hacked. So I've got this guy. I don't know where he's from. And he's 19k. And he would have been a discard in form when he came out. And he can go up to like 81s, like Provod, this guy. And there's one of him on the market for 42k. So I could sell mine for 41k. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, so, so the old info, and that's what I always do. I love hoarding and keeping all the informs. Now, it is at that stage of FIFA, guys, where I doubt you're going to be seeing them informs in Squad Builder Showdown today. But, you never know. No. Andy! Hello. What formation would you like? I'm going to play Kante in 4 triple 2 please, Bateson. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, come on. <laughs> I got him! I've got no. him in formation! Oh, my God! Oh, guys, we have got him on formation. So, what formation post patch is not strong anymore? Post patch? Yeah, so you know the three at the back formations were very, very good. 
They're not that good anymore. I didn't know that. No. <laughs> and the formation you picked is a very, very good one. Okay. Well, yeah. Good. Well played, Andy. And my accidental <laughs> FIFA knowledge. Um. So I'll be kind. And I'll give you a post-patch formation. You can have the three, four, one, two. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Um. The formation I would like, Andy, if possible, Go on. is the 4-4-2 four, four, flat. You may have it. Nice. Well, that's a cracking start, guys, isn't it? It's only going to go downhill for me here. Oh, so with that yeah. said, let's pick two strikers for me, two strikers and a cam for you, right? Sure. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. Right, guys, we're back. Very interesting. I'm thirsty uh, for more. Yeah, very interesting position, this one. Um, Andy's going to be guessing two strikers for myself. I'm going to be guessing the uh, the strikers and cam for him. And I will go first, Andy, because I've got you on formation. Go on. So, the first striker that I want is a ex-Liverpool player. Team of season, Luis Suarez. And then the next one next to him is a French striker. Uh, did I have him? Where is he? Team of the Year, Mbappe. <laughs> Your club's a joke. Yeah, but I was, you say that, Andy. It may be a joke. But we're not messing around right now. Because you probably guessed. Yeah, I can see you guessing one of them. Maybe even two of them. So you've got Mbappe is ahead of Kante, and Mbappe needs a strong link because you've got Suarez next to him. Oh no, you've got Mendy. Oh my God, my head's fully gone. Oh, you've got. Su oh my God, I'm a moron. Oh, so you've muddled. I am so stupid. So you thought we're doing Kante? <laughs> yep. The show done. Yep. So you've got Suarez in front of Mendy, and Mendy strong yeah. links to him because he's a special crowny thing, and then you've yeah. gone and put Mbappe just to there anyway because it's Mbappe. Yeah. Nice one. I wrote Ginola and Mbappe. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but oh, I am God stupid that I did write Ginola because I thought you had Kante. <laughs> All right. <laughs> to be fair, Ginola was on the, on, on the thing, you know, I was tempted. Are you still French? Yeah, he so, is. So, not the stupidest of guesses. I could have styled it out and pretended I didn't... I didn't know that you had Mendy, but I absolutely didn't. I wrote them because I thought you had Kante. I'm a moron. Who would you like to give me? I believe there is a French goalie for PSG, is there? Or or is this one of them ones where they, they don't have it, and that's why it's in my brain? Let me have a look. Oh, yeah, 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 there is. A foot. Yeah, Letelier. You can have Letelier. Do I have him? No. Don't have Letelier. Letelier, no. Well, this could be. It's basically Ooh. Mbappe, mate. Yeah, it looks good. Seven, three hundred coins. You know, I'll, I'll even put the contracts on him as well. Right, okay. There is my uh, star striker. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like, want? Andy? Because I was stabbing, and I had stabbing the dark on this one. Team of the season in Kunku. Okay. To be paired up front with Barcelona's new not signing. Team of the season. Team of the year is the better one, actually, isn't it? Oh, wait, hang on. Team of the season's got five-star weak foot. Team of the year's higher rated. Team of the season, Lewandowski. Because of the five-star weak foot. And yeah. shapeshifters, Alfonso Davies. Nice, you can have him. So my stabbing it out was Fekir. Mbappe and St. Maximin. Nice. St. Maximin. Do you know how many coins I've got? I don't think he's that oh much. Oh my I God, thought, he's thought, 200k. Well, you're one of them people, Andy, which does squad build showdowns and doesn't sell the players. So I thought, oh, he might have him in his club. I might have him in my club, yeah. Do you know what? Yeah. It would be such an Andy thing to do. A month ago, this man was three mil. Yeah, you imagine if he's still in your club now. I know. It's sick and there, isn't it? Yeah. I bought, for the people at home, I bought a Raphael Leao to do Squabbler Showdown the other day with Jack. I bought him for 400k, I think, and he's at 100k now. It was like a week ago, at most. Fun. Well done, Andy. 
Well done, Andy, on getting my players, though. There, that is a yeah, very that, yeah, I'm, good attacking I'm, I'm, lineup. Uh, yeah, because I think you might, I might have bent myself over, yeah? Already in the striker position. Cool. Okay, midfielders. Okie dokie, Andy. We are going to go for your centre midfielder. And for me, a centre mid, a right mid, and a left mid. Yes. Would you like to go first? I can do. I go French Prem. And as we did a bit of a retro, I say a bit of a retro, we literally did a retro scuffle show on my channel. I thought I'd pick a player who's like a bit of a, an ultimate team icon, a bit of a god, a bit of a legend of the game. Sissoko. Nice. Is he just a normal card? He's got a fantasy foot upgrade. Ooh, I didn't even know about that one. Mm. Looks nice as well. You can have him. Very nice. I bought down Gwen Doozy. Okay. Good player. I thought, yeah, I thought he might, might go a different route. Right, so this is make or break, guys, right? If Andy gets any of these players, I am done. Imagine you became the, the second YouTuber to discard Mendy. <laughs> yeah. He's, so, he's such a nice looking guy. <laughs> In the centre mid, Andy, next to him, Go on. I would like, I had him a minute ago, where has he gone? Two Shemeni. Ooh, okay. As a CD, is he a CDM? Yeah. I was, I was going to go for Kimpembe. I thought, I thought you wouldn't want to risk that in case you were doing like a best PSG team or something. Yeah, no, I've already done that one. Okay, so well, I was like, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, and then next to him was, is he a left mid? Yeah, he is, he's not from that league though. Um, it is 98 rated, Frank Ribery. And then on the right hand side, could I have Rodrigo? Now, these are very bait picks, very easy, <laughs> very mm. easy, and I think you may have a few of them. I put, for your strong link to Latelier, Rafinha. Ooh, nice one. Put for your, well, you went French. I put Ligue 1 for your left wing. I put Gerson. Nice. But I did write a Real Madrid right midfielder. Okay. Gareth Bale. Yes, thank God for that, because he was the one I was like, do I go with Bale? I was like, nah, Bale's too good. So I thought I'd go with a person whose card is around because of a certain final, which mm. we don't talk about. So I get all of them. You do get them all, well played. That is not a bad midfield, actually, now I've done that. I mean, it's always going to be a good midfield, isn't it? You've got piss and Benjamin Mendy, who costs two mil in it. Yeah, but imagine if you took out Rodrigo, it looks terrible. I was, I was like, oh my God, I'm out. there's one, I, one of the things where I'm going to have to change one side and just have bronze, put them all on one side and then just dominate <laughs> down one side, you know. Right, so you've got Sissoko. I've I have got a... my midfield. And now it is Full backs. left mid, right mid for Andy and left back, right back for me. Yes. Guys, on to the end game. The most important part. Andy needs the strongest defence in the world, but he's actually not doing his defence in his midfield because he's up against my star striker in Letelier. <laughs> So, so no, just a nice little giggle there. So what Andy's <laughs> picking for me, guys, is the left back and right back. I'm trying to guess on that, and I'm going for Andy's right mid and left mid. Yes. Who's going first? I go first if you, you. want. Yeah, it's you. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay, go on prem, and I'm going to try out a little bit of shapeshifters Madison. Nice. And on the other side. I'm pretty sure I have this card. I'm just going to check. I do. There we go. Player of the Month, Raheem Sterling. Who? I don't know what's happened to Fodder, but it, the current... Do you know the way on Footbin, you can see what it would cost to do him now? Yeah. If it was out, 450k that SBC would be to do at the moment. That is mental. I don't know why I've and done how it. And how much was it back then? When he come out, he was 350 but this mm -hmm. is in January. Yeah. Mad. Random. Well, you can have them both, Andy. Lovely. I went with a clever pick. Well, it's not very clever. because Was I'm it DRB? It. No, it was Dempsey. Clint Dempsey. Okay, yeah, sure. Have you really used him? Really cheap. I've used him. I think he's awful. Yeah, he's 
is not good for a, a left-sided player. And the other one was Sancho. Oh, I um, really yeah. wanted Footy's Bamba. No, not Bamba. Footy's Komen. I was also looking at Bamba if I wanted to go league in. Footy's yeah. Komen and Diaby is team of the season. But I just thought that was so bait. No, I was literally locked in on that Premier League there. Yeah. Oh. Who would you like? Uh, could I have um, on the left-hand side uh, the Alex Sandra? Uh, I don't know what card this one is. Ninety-one rated. It's the and same as my Sissoko in it. The fantasy football. Oh yeah, it's grade. a fantasy card. Yeah, fantasy card. And then on the right-hand side, could I have? Uh, Valverde. Oh, that card is disgusting. Jack nice. 54 absolutely snaked me apparently the other day as well. He picked that Valverde. Oh my God, he's only 200k now. When Jack picked yeah. him like a week ago, he was like 750, 800k. And Jack couldn't afford him. So he played the shape sh the fire versus ice one thing. Instead of the shapeshifters, he just put it right back, the little snake. No, well, would I do that? You wouldn't. So you've got four no. billion coins. Speaking of that, Andy, I could pull you up on something, which I oh, left it, right? So in the last time we did a squad builder showdown, yeah, there was a pick you made, and I can't remember who it was. I think it was right back. I, I, I wasn't that bothered, but people were. Were people crying. fuming? What did I do? I'm trying to think. It was a left back or a right back. Oh, and it might have I been. wrote like it, oh, I know Dan what it James. Was. Yeah, yeah, Dan James and Reese James. Honestly, cross my heart and hope to die. <laughs> I meant Dan James. Like, I wouldn't actually snake you like that. Back back in the day when the two Mendys and stuff like that, when you guessed the yeah, French yeah. left back, I'd always be like, I'd guess Mendy, and then they'd say, "Oh, I want Mendy," and I'd be like, "Which one do you mean?" They'd be Real Madrid, and I was like, "Oh, you can have it. I meant the City one." Yeah, and people nah, were. Well, I seen that. People were fuming about it, as if I'd yeah. actually be that. But the, but the thing is, though, that Dan James was like he hot that week. He'd just come out. He'd just yeah. come out. And I usually pick cards which have just come out. So I knew that what you meant. But I just thought it was funny seeing people like, oh, Andy's goddamn cheater. Yeah. Like, oh, my I'll God. I'll show it now as well. If you go right back, Concepts Prem, literally the first card is that new, well, it was new then, the new Dan James. And I was yeah. like, if anyone's going to have that, it's going to be Bateson. So I wrote it down. Nice. And, yeah, people like, went absolutely... So I just thought we'd clear that up while Andy's yeah. here, right, guys? Yeah. Um, so Andy, <laughs> I don't care about that now. The, the biggest this. thing I people don't seem to wrap their head around with Scrub the Showdown is that the whole point of it is to make a fun video for people to watch. Yeah. And that's why all of the rules exist. Because people always suggest new rules and say you should do this. Every single rule in Scrub the Showdown is designed to make it fun for people to watch. So, for example, you can't have multiple icons because that would make it too difficult to guess people's teams. And guessing people's teams is funny, and that's where the entertainment is. So, like, all of the... So, I wouldn't actually cheat to... Pre yeah. No. It, it is what it is. That's and speaking of rule changes, guys, next year is going to be a big one. You're going to see yeah. big changes We're to a lot of to... people's videos. It's going to be interesting, actually. Imagine Jack yeah, 54, I'm... seven-minute squads, and you just go, bang, 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 11 players in, there you go. Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah, seven does. seconds yeah. instead of seven minutes. <laughs> it's like foot drafts. You literally can just build a foot draft off the best players. How much of this, is, is this all public that this is how it's going to work now with VA? No, I, I, no well, I'm just going for off the rumours. Off the leaks. Off the leaks, yeah. The chemistry I, leaks, which aren't correct. No. Maybe but, I'm just going to go off like, yeah, star system or something. I don't know when it's coming out, is it? When there's an ultimate team on the end of this month? It's going to be interesting. I know today we've got the pro clubs, but I don't think we Oh, oh okay. So by the time it. people have seen this video, the cl pro clubs video, the pro clubs information is coming out, yeah. What's it going to be? A single 10 second screen that says pro clubs is still in FIFA? I think it's just going to be a picture graphic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to FIFA 23. Yeah. Andy, can I have Valverde, by the way? You can, mate. Can I have Sandra? Absolutely not. Wow, you went for him. Okay. Yep. Oh. I thought he was the least pick I would make there. Bloody could have gone with... Who was I going to go with then? I had something in my head and I was like, I'm going to go with him. Tio Hernandez I was going to go with as well. I was like, nah, it's way too bad. Not bait enough? Been good. No. Okay, what, shall, what do you want then? Do you want a Serie A one? Do you want a French one? Um, I don't know if there's French. a Serie A Brazilian left back. I'm not sure. Is Oh, there is one. He's silver. You can or, keep the links, yeah. If I go... You can have you, Doggy, if you want. Who the hell is that? <laughs> He's a bronze left back in Serie A. Uh. <laughs> 
just got a funny name. <laughs> Up to you. I'll what would you prefer? I'll turn that Rogero guy, that left back, Brazilian. You left want back. To, you want a silver? Wow. Well, well, I want. Fine. I want a go, on, go on. Go on. I want a Brazilian. You've got to change yes. your mind. Get him in. Yes. Look how nice Andy is. And I've let him have all his players so far, guys. The only thing I've got on him is his bloody formation. I thought I'd best get back in the good books after writing down Reese James last time. <laughs> <laughs> the final players, guys. Four for Andy, three for me. This is going to be big. It better be big. Here we are, guys. The final selection. The last four players for Andy, three players for me. And um, you can go first, Andy, if you would like. All right, I'm going for a bit of an English theme. So, first up in the center, I'm going to have Wants to Watch Tamori. Nice. On the right hand side, I'm going for a man Everton are about to sign. Team of the season, Connor Cody. Wait, when are you signing him as a today? It's ru been rumoured for the past couple of days. Yeah, apparently we're getting him on right. loan. It's very interesting. Yeah. Because he's a massive Liverpool fan as well, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, that's very surprising. I guess professionals are professional, aren't they? Like, Jamie Carragher was an Everton fan. Gerard was. Leon Osman was a Liverpool fan. I think Robbie Fowler was an Everton fan. There's like, it, if you live in... Merseyside, you support one or the other, and it doesn't really matter which one. Like within families, like some of my uncles yeah, support Liverpool, thing, and some it? of my uncles support Evan. Like it is what it is. Yeah. So he's a professional footballer. I'm sure he'll play quite well. Anyway, left centre back. I'm going to go for Rio Ferdinand. Nice. And in goal, Mignon. 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 So, I went with Larice Tierney, Laporte. So Laporte, I was going for a link for Sterling, thinking he might go for it that way. Okay. Um, but there is one place Connor Cody isn't going in this transfer window. It's to my team. And it is in your team. Yeah. You wrote Connor Cody. I wrote, I wrote down, he's only English centre-back, apart from Tamori, innit? But I am feeling nice, Andy. So I'm going to give you an English goalkeeper. Oh, that's so kind after I gave you a silver. <laughs> From the Premier... Yeah, this has happened before, right? This has happened before where I've done this and you've not been kind. And I just don't know which one to do. Um, uh, right. I will give you an Everton goalkeeper. Okay. Krellin. You're so kind. It's an Everton player. Thanks, mate. Enjoy. It's all right. Cam's probably going to get me now. Back anyway. pocket, Letelier. Don't you worry. Yeah, put him, make, him, put him, make sure you put him on that side, please. Which side is he? Letelier's on the left. Yeah, Krillin's on the right. Yeah. Be, yeah, gonna right. be a goalkeeper Golden. battle. Yeah. My how, white how board is on mine? its last legs. Hopefully, your team. Oh, mine, is mine's up. six four. Right. Mine's six one. See, Andy, you talk about your whiteboard. Mine's not on its last days because mine's digital. Yeah, because yours cost 55 quid, mate. This cost a pound. But look at how many... Uh, Probably cost about £3.50 now with inflation, but still. Guys, since I bought the electronic whiteboard, I've become a regular on the Squad Builder Showdown. According to Andy's uh, Squad Builder Showdown stats on Twitter. He <laughs> tagged me in the regular. I love it. It's not Andy which runs it, by the way, but he makes me chuckle, whoever it is. Um, Good old right, Lucas. am I ready to pick mine? Go on. In the centre-back position... On the left-hand side, I would like a French centre-back, an icon, and it is Laurent Blanc, linked with a brand-new French centre-back, Lacroix, who is not a crown, so his normal foot is. And to finish off with, it is a German goalkeeper, Manuel Neuer. Jeez. If you've got this, I'll be quite unhappy. You'll have room there. It's a very good team. Potentially my week. I put, I thought you wanted the Brazilian for something, so I wrote Marquinhos. Nice. And I thought, hmm, he might use an icon. I thought he might use Nesta, so I wrote Chiellini. Because also, Serie A is yeah. also covered a bit of a two bases there. And then I just went in doubt, right Donnarumma, so that's what I did. 
nice. It's a good team. I, le I, I left it, yeah, I left it quite a good... I've never been in that position where I've been quite comfortable with the last three picks. Right, I've got a good defence. And I've even put a shadow on my left back. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but I did score on the showdown with Matt HD once, right? And it was when shadows were extinct. And I gave him, like, a bronze left back and he put a shadow on it. <laughs> oh, my days. Bro, have you seen the price of icons? Yeah, mate, this Rio Ferdinand that I'm getting is, like, 100k. Yeah, Blanc, 113k. Moments, yeah, moments Rio Ferdinand. 130k I just bought him for. That is wild. So you're happy with your team, Andy? I, th I think you've done all right. Other than the Cody, especially because I wanted to go John Stones, but bottled it. Yeah, I wouldn't have, yeah, I wouldn't have gone anywhere near John Stones. So that's very frustrating. But the three at the back's pretty bad. The Krellin's pretty bad. But also you've got Ruggiero and Latelio up front, so tit that for tat. The, yeah, that could be a, an interesting one. So here we go, guys. These are the squads that me and Andy have built. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you like watching pain, stick around. Because someone's <laughs> discarding something. Yeah. And hopefully it's not bloody pink. Here okay. we are. Back to a different fee for them than playing earlier. <laughs> True. It's, 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 I thought Davies had five-star skills, but apparently not. Does he not? I thought he did, but I tried to do some skills with him then, and he didn't do it. Have you uh, done a squad build showdown with that camp there? No, I'll keep asking Atani to do it, and he always bottles it. Oh. Good girl. Naruto on Alfonso Davis. I asked him to do it ages ago, when it was like two, three mil, but I had coins back then, during Team of the Year. Yeah. He was like, can't afford that, mate, and didn't do it. So then I packed this one, and was like, let's do it, and he's like, it's still 700k. He's like, 300k now, probably less. And he still won't do it. So he can't afford it, play four guys, mate. Right. Oh, oh my god, Matt, he's offside are... anyway, he's offside, don't count, don't count. Fantasy football balls there. Um, At Madrid next year. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god Andy! Oh my, oh my god. god, I've just been sat down by Latelier. <laughs> Dude, he was so slow, I was like, no, he's peaky, he was going like, I'll press a chip button. I'll press a chip button and hope for the best. He worked. He was so slow, I ran past him. <laughs> look at my look at my defending there. Oh my god, that's so bad. Oh, I scored wonder goals with keepers. It's unreal. He's doing all right. He's standing in the right places. He just for the player that. Oh, Willow. Oh, I tried to play her on sides, but I got stuck behind him. Oh, he's off, isn't he? Is he off? No, he's not. No, he's not. He's got, he's, oh he's got a brace, Andy. He's, guys, tactic: get on, get in behind. <laughs> that was a tight one, though. No, he's just there. God. He could have had a hat trick as well, if you think hey, about it. finish? It's the telly, I just leave him. I've been watching it. Dude. Look, look. Oh, uh. oh my god. Get up, Mignon. Get up, Mignon. Get up, Mignon. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> I get bullied by the telly. <laughs> he's broken. I thought six foot four's coming in huge here. Oh my god, look at your expected goals. Yeah. And to be fair, I think one of them was a free header with Letelier headed it over. Yeah. And the other chance, I think all of them have been Letelier. He's got to have everything, guys. <laughs> 69 rated. <laughs> Stamina's done. He's done for the second half. But oh, if I get dear. one more goal ahead, keep it clean. Mendy's safe. Oh, what a man. Letelier, what? He's quite good. <laughs> oh, that's a great ball. Mm. I, was I gonna, did that. I did I that purposely. I Letelier, and I was like, I'm not going to yeah. concede the hat trick to Letelier, am I? And then thankfully it wasn't Letelier. Nah, that's the only reason I did it. I thought it was him, but he wasn't getting behind there. Come on! Oh, here we go. Oh, you're winding me up. <laughs> that looks cool. so good. He plays in goal as well. No, 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 no! He's only gone and blasted it and got a hat trick against you, Andy. How? I want to go back and watch the clip at the start. What is what that finish? <laughs> it's a goalie! <laughs> Oh. Well, I think I may, might be ranking up on the leaderboards now, Andy. <laughs> on that new stat thing. Ah, oh, red card, darn it. What oh, a ball. This could be an assist for him, Andy, I think. And it is. Getting, Three goals. I'm getting bullied by Letelier. <laughs> Take me back to FIFA 17. 
<laughs> yeah, guys, make sure you do watch that, by the way. It's, uh, I'm be watching all of them with Andy's. Going back onto FIFA 16, you starting with Andy, yeah? And I did. 17, yeah, all the way through. So it'd be good watch for, for you guys, which were around oh, in the scene. i your silver set left back <laughs> as well. I can't be asked. <laughs> <laughs> Have you found a team with the season striker with the same name as Latelier and you're playing him instead? To be fair, Andy, mate, when I bought him, he had a basic chem style on. I put a glove on him and I think that's what ticks made him exploitable. <laughs> Most assists with a trump card. Not again. Stop trying to give trying. goals to Latelier so you can be on the stats. <laughs> what are you doing, William? <laughs> oh my god. Please, no. Make it stop. Blow up ref. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> and he's trying to score more goals now. <laughs> I want to see him at the end of the game, Andy, uh, pick the ball up, alright? So make sure we get to see that clip. Right, guys, there is a, a demolition. Is bullying is what that is. Bullying. And no, no word of a joke. He, it was the off the ball stuff that he was doing, which was causing the trouble for Andy. He was like pushing his defence back and standing there, and he was a really good supporting striker. He's played better than some of the players I've played in Squabble Showdown with you before. We I don't usually do that stinkers. bad. I did have a three at the back and then you guessed one of my centre-backs, but it's not usually that much bullying. It was literally just Latelier. Yeah. Well, there we go, guys. We get to do... He got three goals and two assists and a 10 out of 10. Amazing. Best 400 coins I have ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually going to remain in the club for life now. Where's he? Where's he at? My boy. So we get five, five Andy, right? You, you, you do get five. That's cool. That's, four, that's, that's, that's forty k gone. How much did I pay for him? Oh, Three hundred coins. And someone used him for seven games prior to this. Crazy. Are you ready? Unfortunately, yes. I am gonna go. Centre mid, centre mid, Cam. Goalkeeper and middle centre back. No, oh, hell, that's Rio Fares and and. <laughs> I've got a big chunk there. That's probably the most expensive player, right? He is the most expensive player, other than Kante, I guess, but Kante's untradeable. you got yeah. Team of the Season Lewandowski, Shapeshifters mm. Davies, Krellen, Team of the Season Minan, and Ferdinand. That's a good haul. That's a very good haul. Then we go put them in an SBC. Latelier, thank you. What a man. Right, there we go then. Into an SBC, they all go, except Krellen, because he's bronze. Did you have fun? I enjoyed myself. I, I enjoyed well, getting bullied by Latelier in a sort of a I've, weird kind of way. Yeah. I've also done an SBC, guys, for no reason. Just thought I'd do it for the crack. But Andy, I appreciate the invite and the opportunity to do a school builder showdown. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for bullying me. No, it's fun. But guys, make sure you do check out the, the retro one. See, right? Every FIFA's my game. When I go back to the previous ones, struggle. But it's fun anyway. But make sure you check out the retro series, guys. Very, very good and glad to be a part of it. And you get to see nostalgia from FIFA 16 all the way up to 21. And you can see some of the uh, games which you may have played, you may not have played. Who knows? And uh, some fun with Andy. Guys, have a nice rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching. Andy, as well, got a new outro. Do you want to listen to it? Bye, guys! No, no, no. Oh, Ready? Go on. And now what's your reaction to it? See you on the pitch. What do you think? <sighs> okay. Sounds like some weird, cringy podcast outro. Well, it's staying. See you on the pitch.